Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I decided I wanted to do a video just to update you guys. Uh, we've been, it's been 14 months postpartum and it's been significantly different. So I wanted to share my experience and some tips with other moms today. So yes, yeah, so like I mentioned, um, baby girl is 14 months now. She's sleeping, <laughs> sleeping a little baby. And um, yeah, there have been some remarkable differences in a good way because with our oldest, I had postpartum depression, um, as some of you know, which I, I'll talk about it more on this channel as we share this experience and knowledge together. Um, and what my midwife and I found out is that that was triggered by some nutritional deficiencies, which I talked about a little bit on my personal Instagram. And so this time around, I was very keen on uh, my diet and how I fed myself and nourished my body because it's very easy to neglect yourself as a mom which is terrible unless you have people within your circle which I urge you to do uh, have a support system have people make meals for you maybe it's your partner a friend comes over once a week to either make some home-cooked meals or deliver uh, foods of your choice whatever it is having that support system is crucial and so yeah so I was very keen on my diet uh, very heavy loaded with fats <laughs> um, certain uh, very um, greens and cruciferous vegetables um, yeah, to name a few. So, um, and I'm also not plant-based this time around. So, there there was that huge difference to where I was actually gaining um, a huge portion of my nutrients. You know, specifically your B vitamins, uh, your fats, your omega threes that you would outsource as you know in a plant-based or vegan diet. Mm -hmm. um, and I would get that directly from food. So. Mentally wise, body wise, I'm feeling great. Um, I've been feeling really, really great. Uh, now, balancing two kids um, has been interesting. <laughs> they have very different personalities. You know, of course, they have their bickering here and there. It's just typical siblingry. Um, however, I think. I don't know. I didn't have any expectations, which did help a lot. I did not have any expectations for myself. Um, or for my partner, for my husband, um, and juggling two kids and growing and building a life together, which helped a lot. So dropping any expectations that you do have about how your day-to-day -day life will go, because honestly, <laughs> um, you gotta learn how to roll with the punches. You gotta, you gotta learn how to roll and be flexible. Um, that's really the key to motherhood, at least for me. And so, um, it's been, uh, I've been giving myself a lot of grace because I know me personally, you know, if I have certain things to do and boxes to check and they're not checked, I would typically feel some sort of way <laughs> if they were not checked at the end of the day. Um, however, um, you know, now I, you know, and because of that, I've incorporated different ways of time management. So especially now that our oldest, we are now incorporating this year, it's crazy to say she's, we're going to be incorporating some homeschooling uh, material for her because she's just her her mind <laughs> um, it's really important to cultivate it for young kids you know they're very witty and smart so as soon as you can hop on and um, nurture that for them it's great so yeah so that's the challenge for us this year is homeschooling uh, juggling our businesses now um, yeah so it's gonna be interesting but all in all uh, it's really um, it's really rewarding just to see them grow and really cultivate that relationship together you know if you have siblings you kind of understand um, how that relationship is very special and dynamic and then lastly speaking of dynamic relationships um, career and family life have really been uh, a challenge in balancing and uh, we actually sought out therapy because we just needed some help um, you know we're at we're, we're young you know we're in our mid-20s and so we're at this point of life where we're just building our foundation getting our degrees if we need to or any you know credentials for our career path that we're going in um, there's that aspect um, just getting just continuing getting to know each other because we're now um, we celebrated our fourth mm -hmm. wedding anniversary this past November. And so um, even though we've known each other since childhood. Um, but yeah, so just establishing our relationship as couples together 
um, has been very interesting and challenging at times, but it's been rewarding. Um, and I will say here, you know, balancing this career family life, communication is your friend. <laughs> communication is your friend. Um, yeah, so whether it be, you know, um, and I think a lot of families can relate, um, you know, because, you know, people have their own schedules going on, whether it's in their head, on a piece of paper, wherever it is, there's a schedule that is set. <laughs> whether or not people know or not, you have a set schedule. So being clear about your schedule and what you're going to do and your plans for the day, the week, the month, the quarter, the year is really important. And so, um, yeah, it's been very interesting. And I'm now at a point where like, uh, and if you're a woman, you understand where um, you are growing your family, um, thinking about growing your family even more. However, you're really considering how you're going to balance being a mom and a career woman at the same time. It's an honest question. <laughs> and, you know, in high school, I was like, yeah, I can do that. No problem. It'll be great. And, you know, it'll be I can manage. And now I'm at a point where... I'm like, do I want to cap how many kids I have in order to maintain my career or do I want to postpone my career for a family life? And so women and men alike reach this point in life when they start a family, especially young families, because, you know, young families, you sacrifice your your young life, you know, uh, being independent, having uh, no one depend on you, really. Um, I have no more storage to film. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, it's very uh, different uh, from going from no dependence to having dependence. So, yeah, regardless, it's been very interesting, but we're managing, and the kids are doing great. I'm doing great. My husband is doing great. And that's all that matters is that if everyone is okay and is on the same page, not at all times, but you know what I mean, um, there is some sort of harmony and consensus flowing, then um, things are good. So thank you so much for watching um, and allowing me to share my experience with you. Um, I really, I plan to be more open and authentic this year with you guys, maybe even more frequently. So we'll see. If you want to stay tuned, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification too if you'd like to get notifications of when I upload. And of course, like this video and share it with someone you may think may benefit. And yeah. Until then, I'll check in the next video. Bye for now.